We've got temperatures just above freezing officially at the airport. Surrounding areas are just below. Up in Oklahoma City, you see it's in the 20s. Same story out in the panhandle of Texas, but oh, the woe up to the north. Take a look across the Dakotas and to Iowa. Those are negative numbers right now with a brisk north wind on top of that. So we're talking about wind chills that are minus 20 in some locations over Iowa right now. In Arlington right now, it's 32 degrees. Excellent visibility because clear skies overhead, no fog. Here are some temperatures around the region, and you can see we're pretty much right around freezing or just above. Uh, have temperatures in that freezing mark, but those feel likes are pretty much in the 20s. Your forecast today, well, yesterday we were in the mid 50s across the afternoon. Even though the official high was 61, that was actually in the overnight hours heading into morning. Then it got colder throughout the morning and stayed in the 50s all day. We'll just be in the 50s all afternoon. We'll have plenty of sunshine today. The winds won't be nearly as strong as they were yesterday afternoon, so the wind chill's not so bad. But, you know, we've been kind of spoiled. The first 17 days of January, we've had one day with below normal temperatures. In fact, this is the sixth warmest start to January on record, and those records go back to 1899. So it's been warm so far this month, but these are at or just below temperatures that you would expect in January, both today, right at normal tomorrow, and Tuesday with more cloud cover, low 50s anticipated. So the winter temperatures, the January temperatures, sticking around for a while this time. You see how these lows tomorrow morning will probably be below freezing in most locations. So Martin Luther King Day will start with some frost, it looks like. Future Sky forecast, because we're talking about when we're going to get rain again. It looks like Wednesday. I'll stop it in the overnight hours, and you can see a good rain going on. We'll have to watch along the Red River counties, maybe even a little winter mix with it briefly. But as we get into the afternoon hours, most of this will march off towards the east. East, and then a front comes in, and then on Thursday afternoon, all the way across the overnight, we're talking about some rain chances returning before that clears out, this time by Friday, and we'll go into a dry weekend. Those precipitation chances Wednesday and Thursday. So if you're trying to get anything done outside here in the early season, those are the, those are the best chances of rain this week. Otherwise, we're talking about temperatures staying on the cool side. So you'll need your winter coat, everybody in those coats and hats as we cross the days of this week. We have temperatures only in the 40s on Wednesday because of the light rain we're anticipating in the cloud cover, but we'll be a little bit warmer on Thursday, but it will be breezy and then the rain will be leaving as we get into Friday and headed into a Saturday and Sunday that looked to be dry.